just tied this tandem on too. Got one. Ugh. It's nice little flatty. Everybody, what is going on? You know, all week long we have had just a lot, a lot of rain. Now today is no different, but I just had to get my line wet. The water level is extremely, extremely high. Typically this grass over here is just grass, but today it's it's very high. So wish me luck, I'm gonna be dodging raindrops, little bit of wind, high water level. Probably not gonna have the greatest of days, the greatest of trips out here, but I wanted to get on the water, I had to get on the water. So stay tuned, keep your fingers crossed, wish me luck. right there the whole reds deep into the into the marsh will hold some reds so I'm almost curious to see if they're all the way like right here plenty of active birds a lot of a lot of birds driving over here I saw the cows all the cows are sitting down so that shows you how inactive they are it could just because they're feeling all that Barometric pressure drop of might possibly be a rain storm and I'm feeling little tiny drops I'm hoping it holds off and nothing starts No rain starts on me. I really am But I know I'm gonna get wet I know there's no way around it today. Today is gonna be a wet day Let's see if we can push through Nothing venture, nothing gain, at least that's what they say. Stand up and the air catches, that wind catches you. Instead of like a cell. So, in theory, high water, bait runs into the grass, reds into the, into the grass chasing the bait. How it always normally is all right quick update I came back here pushed back to this little back lake pushed to the grass and I'm not seeing any reds I'm not seeing really anything a little bait jumping here and there but no schools nothing that like I was hoping for so I'm gonna scrap this I'm gonna go back to where my main plan was fish the bayou a little bit getting a little bit of deeper water see if I can hit a spec really kind of looking for specs see if I hit a spec and see if I can get a flounder. Fish some of those drains around the bayou. I already had one little shower, kind of rolled through. I guess one shower, more like a light drizzle, but I had one little light drizzle roll about, rolled through, I had to switch hats. Just took this hat back out. So I'm gonna, I guess I'm gonna push through back to the grass again and get back into that bayou. Kind of just, kind of burned about an hour, but hey, you know what? Nothing venture, nothing gained right. Just tied this tandem on too. Got one. Ugh. It's a nice little flatty. Let's see. Nice little flatty. Oh man. Okay, guy. Let's see this guy here. Nice little guy. A little bit of blood. I think he swallowed. Hopefully we can get it out. Hopefully it's not too far in there. We'll measure them real fast and we'll get them off but I just put that tandem on and I said man let me just push the tandem hadn't fished the tandem in a while yeah he's hurting you don't want to be open you don't want to open up 
we're gonna see oh yeah he's a keeper he is just at 16 inches just at 16 inches the gulp tandem put that salty head you get on there we go a little bit of blood on him but he is a-okay just barely barely missed me in trouble buddy you awesome so we came for I wanted to see if there you know I see people catching flounders said man you know I really want to target flounder I put specs on my list first but I really wanted to target flounder today as you can see I brought the get her done rig I thrown that little bit I haven't had anybody hit hits on it so, so let me switch to a tandem look at that I knew I smelt it there's a slick right behind me let me get over there and see if I can get on that slick I thought I smelt it but see yeah, I don't know if you can see it on the GoPro, but there's a slick here. So it's, the wind's pushing this way. So on the other side of the slick is probably where some of that action took place. And what it is, is just fish feeding. So it doesn't matter to me if it's trout or if it's a red. It smelled like trout to me. Red kind of have that more bait shop scent to them. A little, little more, a little bigger guys, a little rougher. Oh, right here. Look at that boil. Yeah. That guy was on this side. Oh, there's another one. Let's see. Oh, there they go. A couple more. Nope, those are waves. But I just see two boils right here. As I pulled up. Let's see. Typically you want to cast on the other side and, and swim your lure to it. But since we rode up on that guy. Let's see. There we go. Ugh. That's a nice fish. <clears throat> oh, that was a nice speck. A little red. I heard something pop behind me, like some splash behind me. So that was a little slot. A little un juvenile red. So we get him in the net. Come on, buddy. Heard something jump behind me, so I kind of cast a little funky angle, and it's nice little red. Again, tossing on that tandem, that little tandem is getting it done. There he goes, pretty little guy. Caught him slipping, bamboozled him, tricked him, all that good stuff. We're gonna let him go and get a little bigger for us. And there he is, there he is. Pop, 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 pop. I'm gonna let him sing for a second. Let him hold it for a second. He's on it. Nope. I don't know what that was. Who's on it again? I don't understand. You know what? It might be crab. But I never had a crab hit that hard. Like pop, 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 pop. Typically crabs are like thump, 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 thump. So it might be what I what I thought it was originally. It might be that little, maybe a little bit of croakers right here. Pinfish, croakers, sand trout, little mouths. That's funny though, I got him hit again. But he was right here. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. We'll put, drop it down. Let's let's take a look, let's drop it down, let's see. Let's see, kinda not didn't know where I wanted to go, but we'll see. Maybe still underneath me. Maybe it might be a little eight inch, 10 inch flounder. He's nibbling. There he goes. <laughs> Ah, I got you. Uh, I thought you were something small. 
and you are Little Croaker. See, there's a complete wall of water all the way across, all the way across. So I'm getting ready to get hit right before it gets to the landing. But yeah, I'm getting ready to get hammered. Over there, it looks good. Good. Bad. Good. Bad. <laughs> All right, so that's gonna. All right, so that's gonna do it today. You know, I wanted to come out real fast, Let's just do a real quick trip. Sorry for the audio. I don't have my mic on this GoPro, but you can see over there in the distance. You can see. See that another band of rain is coming right at us. So. I want to get off the water and just you know just take care of myself and and not get caught in any of that too much of that that red stuff here I'm pulling up right here on the so you can see right here what's what's getting ready to hit I'm trying to trying to cover the glare but there you go you can see what's getting ready to hit and doing doing what I'm supposed to do right I mean you see stuff like that coming you get off the water but thank you for watching. You know, I know there wasn't like a whole lot caught today. Actually, I only caught like one flounder and the rest of the trip. I just really, I just enjoyed myself. You know, sometimes it's good to get out in the water by yourself and just kind of hang out with just, you know, just me and you guys. So that was nice to be able to do today. And like I said, the water had the rain, the water's high. It's been windy. It's been raining. Haven't had a chance to get out. So I wanted to get out today, no matter what was going on luckily i was able to dodge most of the rain so hey it's uh it's an it's, well i wouldn't say it's an accomplishment but I, I i came i wanted to come out and catch a flounder and i caught a flounder wanted to get a speck didn't get a speck got a small red instead i appreciate you guys for coming out with me if you haven't subscribed to the channel subscribe get a thumbs up if you like the video leave a comment down below if you have one until next time, hopefully you catch me hooking up. Thanks.